converting rights. Let's um, have a look at this question here. S we want to convert 60 kilometers per hour into meters per second. 60 kilometers per hour means 60 kilometers is equal to one hour. Now we want meters per second. So you know that 60 kilometers, okay, so we need to convert to meters first. So you time by thousand because one meter, I mean one kilometer is a thousand meters. So therefore we need to time thousand to convert to meters. So 60,000 meters is equal one hour. But one hour is 60 minutes. So therefore we write 60 minutes instead. So 60 minutes equals 60,000 meters. So if I cancel this, I divide by, and then um, 60, so I divide by six, give me one. So 1,000 meters is equal to one minute. But remember, one minute is 60 seconds. So I can write like 60 seconds. Okay, 60 seconds is 1,000 meters. I can write like that as well. Then I divide by 60, so I divide by 60 in here, so it gives me one second. So 1,000 divided by 60, okay, is equal 16 and two thirds of a meters. If I want to write decimal, it's actually equal to 16.67, two decimal place meters per second. This means one second, okay, is 16.67 meters. So if I write in this form, that means 16.67 meters per second. That's how you approach the problem. Look at this one here. 70 kilometers per hour convert into meters per second. So you know that I can write this way. So it means one hour is give me 70 kilometers so one hour is 60 minutes I can also write like this like this so 60 minutes so I convert to kilometers a minute I mean to meters it time by thousand because one kilometer is a thousand meters so therefore I time by thousand give me 70 thousand meters so I divide by 60 both side because I want to get rid of the 60 I want to work out one minute right so one minute will give me one minute it give me 70 okay so this is cancel that so seven seventy thousand divided by 60 so which give me one thousand one hundred and sixty six point sixty seven meters then remember one minute is 60 seconds so i can write at like 60 second is equal to so 1166 67 meters because one minute is 60 seconds so I can write like that as well so I divide by 60 both side that give me one second then um, is equal to divide by 60 it give me 19.44 meters so one second equal 19.44 meters so therefore I can just write at written you can write like 19.44 meters per second. Now look at this question here. It's the same thing. 100 kilometers per hour convert to um, meters per second. So this with this one here, I'm going to do a different method. Okay, so see if you can um, using this method as well. This is a lot faster, but you need to... Um, to remember the process so 100 kilo 110 kilometers per hour kilometers per hour is equal to meters per second now the way to go about this is that you look at these kilometers this is meters now from kilometers okay to meters sorry I just try to fix this up kilometers to meters you time by thousand so that's the first thing now if the first one is time a thousand or, or time by whatever depend the unit 
and then the second one must be divide. If the first one divide, the second one must be multiplied. They always works against each other with these kind of questions. So this is this, this is the quick, quickest way to do it. So kilometer to meters are ten thousand. Therefore, the second one must be divide. Now from hour to second, okay, is time by sixty, and time by sixty. So I write that. See sixty times sixty. So you divide by time by a thousand divide by um. 3,600, or just type that exactly the same on a calculator. Which give me 30.56 meters per second. Next question. This one here. 25 meters per second is convert to kilometers per hour. Remember what I said earlier. Look at this meters to kilometers. So from meters to kilometers, I divide by thousand. Okay. So now, because the first operation I divide, the second one must be time. So therefore, from hour to second, you time by sixty and time by sixty to so convert, right? So what I do, I time by sixty square or sixty times sixty. So you just you just type twenty five divided by thousand times sixty square. So which give me ninety. So in another word, twenty five meters per second is the same as ninety meters per second. Um, ninety kilometers per hour. Sorry. So otherwise, remember the process at the beginning. Let's say twenty five meters equal one second, and I want sixty. So I um sixty seconds, so give me one hour. So I time by sixty. Sorry, time by sixty. Give me one minute. So I write one minute first. So you time by sixty. So this my time by sixty. So twenty five times sixty is one thousand five hundred. So this is one thousand five hundred meters. Then I convert minute to hour. So you time by sixty again. You can do a long way. So which is give me one hour. Then I time one sixty on the right, of course. Whatever I do on the left, I do same thing on the right. So give me ninety thousand meters. So when I convert to kilometers, this is just equal to ninety kilometers, equal one hour. So this means that ninety kilometers per hour. This is a long way, okay? But this is easy to understand. With the shortcut, you just need to know the process. Let's go. Let look at this one here. I clear everything first. So 60 um, kilograms per hour, and we want to convert tons per day. So you know that one ton is equal to 1,000 kilograms. So therefore, from kilogram to tons, you divide by a thousand. And then, because the first operation is divide, the second one must be time because hours and days. How many hours in a day? That's right, twenty twenty four hours. So it is time by twenty four. So sixty divided by thousand times twenty four. So the answer is one point four four kilo. Uh, sixty kilograms per hour is equal one point four four tons per day. This one here, 55 milliliters per minute convert to liters per hour. So from millimeters, milliliters to liters, I divide by thousand. Because one liter is equal a thousand milliliters. So from liters to milliliters, I time a thousand. But from milliliters to liters, I divide. We go backward a thousand. That's what it is. So I divide by a thousand, but remember the first process is divide. So therefore, the second one for minute hour I must time. So therefore, I time by sixty. So from hour to minute I time sixty. So I div fifty five divide by a thousand, and then I time sixty. So the answer is three point three. So fifty five milliliters. 
per minute is equal to 3.3 .3 liters per hour. Right, this one 12 liters per minute convert to liters per hour. So, same unit here, but different hour, minute, hour, minutes. Okay, so what we do, we write out here if you're not sure where the time will divide, very simple process. Write down one minute is equal to 12 liters. Now I want one I want one hour. One hour is 60 minutes. So I want 60. I've cleared it so you know what I'm talking about. So 60 minutes. See? 60 minutes from here to here you time by 60. So time 60 on the left, I do the same thing on the right. So if I time by 60, give me 6 times 12 is 72, then add a zero. So which is one hour is equal to 720 liters. So in another word, 720 liters per hour. So 720 liters per hour. Let's move on to this third question here now. $8.50 per kilogram convert to dollars per ton. So same unit here dollars and dollars. So write eight dollars and fifty cents is equal to one kilogram. Then I want ton. So from kilogram to ton you turn by a thousand. But because I time a thousand in the front, I mean on the left, I need to do time a thousand on the right as well. So you time a thousand. So which is move one, two and add one more zero. So eight thousand five hundred dollars okay so eight thousand five hundred so this is eight thousand five hundred per ton dollars per ton so that's that's how you work this out same thing here minutes same unit but the only difference is 65 cents we want to convert to dollars and in fact this is simple because 65 cents is convert to dollars. That's all you need to do. So 65 cents is 0 0.65. So therefore, 0 0.65 dollars per minute. Simple one, that one. All right, let's move on to this next one here. Let me clear the screen. So now, here, 23 grams per square meter is equal to we need to convert, of course, to kilogram per hectare. Now, if you don't know what hectare is, one hectare is equal to 10,000, one, two, three, meters square. So one hectare is 10,000. In another word, from hectare to meter square, you time by 10,000. From meter square to hectare, you divide by 10,000. So, the first unit is gram to kilogram. So from gram to kilogram, I divide by 1,000 because 1, 000 kilo, uh, 1 kilogram is 1,000 grams. So we're going backwards, so we divide. Then because the first operation is divide, I know that second one must be time. So I time by 10,000. 10,000. So this cancel with this, one, two, three, one, two, three. Otherwise, just use your calculator. Just 23 divided by 1,000 times 10,000. As simple as that. But the thing is you need to get the right process. So 230 kilogram per hectare. Let's do last question, okay? So the last one is the same as the second one. Same process. In fact, they're all the same. So now look at this from 24 grams to kilograms, I divide by a thousand. But from hectare to meter square, I time by 10,000. Because the first operation divide, second must be time. And because it's hectare, one hectare is 10,000 meter square, so I just time by 10,000. So, so the answer is. 240. So the answer is 240 kilogram per meter square. 
Thank you so much for watching my videos.